Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. I'm from Finland. I'm currently in Australia. I lived in Ireland for 12 years, so that's why I have a weird accent probably. Anyway, I thought in this video we could actually... Sorry, I have my notes here. So this video is about what countries sound like in Finnish or what countries are called in Finnish. Well, some countries, not all of them. I wanted to share the weirdness and the uniqueness of the Finnish language with you, and I thought this is a great... So I thought this is a great example of that, basically. As you will see throughout this video, that some of the country names are totally different in Finnish, what they are in the original language, or however you may know the country by what they are called. So. Let's get right into the video. Let's start off with Finland. So Finland in Finnish is Suomi, which you may already know. And the origins of the word Suomi, I mean, there is a lot of debate and different studies and theories of where it came from. You know, one of those beliefs are that it came from the word suo, which means swamp in Finnish, because at the, um, at the beginning of time, Finland was kind of swampy. But there are, you know, other theories out there of why Finland is called Suomi, but yeah, Finnish person, in Finnish is suomalainen, or in plural it would be suomalaiset. In Estonia, which Estonian language is kind of close to Finnish, and um, Finland, Finland is called Suomi. Hello, you want to be part of my video? <laughs> oh, indeed, is here. Why is Finland then called Finland in other countries? So also there is no, you know, fact answer to this, but. I could find some theories that it actually becomes from Swedish. They found some, you know, papers from the 13th century they had called Finland Finlandi. So, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but anyway, so that's why it was called that, I guess, in the other languages as well. This is just my little disclaimer that whatever I say in this video is, may not be a fact. What? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. And then if we go to the east of Finland, we have Russia. And Russia in Finnish is Venaya. And Russian, you know, person... What? Russian is called Venalainen or Venalaiset in plural. Oh, Hindi is super cute. Come here. So apparently the word Venaya came from a word Venet, which is... Germanic origin and surprisingly or not that surprisingly uh, Venaya in Estonian is Venema so yeah obviously Russia is more known in other languages as Rusland or I don't really know how it's pronounced I don't know what I'm talking about anyway <laughs> if we go to the east no west <laughs> I don't know where we're going <laughs> if we go to the west of Finland we have our other neighboring countries right what <laughs> like Sweden um, and Sweden in Finnish is Ruotsi. So Sweden in Finnish is Ruotsi. I could not really find like definite answers of why it's actually called Ruotsi. Whatever I say in this video is may not be a fact. And then we have Norway and Norway in Finnish is Norja. And Norway in Norwegian is Norge. And I think the Finnish version comes from the Swedish pronunciation of Norway, which is Norea. So yeah, that's kind of pretty similar. Okay, so let's move to other countries then that are not sharing the border with Finland. Denmark in Finnish is Danska. And I think that this may come from the word Dansk, which is the Danish language and yeah I think Finnish people just replace the D with the T because we don't have original words starting with the D because it's not really part of the alphabet you know obviously then we have Estonia and Estonia in Finnish is called Viro and what I could find some information about this is that it may have come the word 
Viruma. I don't know if this was actually what Estonia was originally called, but yeah, Eesti. It's also known as that, but like, officially it's Viro. And then, then we have Germany, and Germany in Finnish is called Saksa. So apparently this comes from the word scissors in Finnish, I think. Saksi. So I couldn't really find information about, you know, why Saksa, apart from the Saksi mod, you know, the scissors land. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently why Germany has so many different names in different languages is because of the central location. France is Ranska in Finnish. And I think this may just be that basically Finnish people just drop the F. You know, F is not really part of the, the Finnish alphabet. So basically B, C, F, Q, X, Z and the Swedish O, oh, they're not like Finnish letters. We don't use them in like Finnish original words. Yeah, back to France. As I was saying that I think Finnish people just dropped the F and then it became Ranska. Franska, Franska. French people are called Ranskalainen or Ranskalaiset and actually French fries in Finnish is French people, Ranskalaiset. So we are eating the French people. Austria is Itävalta and what that means directly translated is Itä is East and Valta is Power. And apparently this comes from the German word which is Österreich Again, sorry about the pronunciation, which means East Realm. Realm, Realm, I don't know, yeah. The Netherlands is Alankomaat. And I think this is just a direct translation because the Netherlands means low-lying region and in Finnish, like low or below is Alla. Alankomaat, Maat means countries. So Switzerland is Sveitsi. I kind of don't know why it's still similar to the original. Veitsi, however, in Finnish means a knife. Sveitsi. Belarus is Valko Venäjä, which is the words white Russia. Valko Venäjä. And it's basically a direct translation from Belarus. Poland is Puola. So I think it's still similar, but with the kind of like the Finnish element. All the land ending countries like Ireland, England, Iceland are Irlandi, Englandi, Islandi. So you kind of get the idea there and they just all end in like Landi. Yeah, we just kind of made those more Finnish, I guess. Australia is Australia. So it's pretty similar, but it's just with a double A at the second A of the word. <laughs> America or the United States of America is America or Yhdysvallat. And Yhdysvallat is just like United States, basically direct translation. In the spoken language, we just kind of refer to America as Yankit, you know, Yankees. Olin Yenkeissä, I went to the Yankee land, something like that. Uh, China is Kiina. And again, I think because we don't use C, or CH. So yeah, it kind of makes sense that it would just be pronounced like with the K instead of the, the ch sound or the CH, whatever. Yeah, Kina. Um, I think this makes sense. So, you know, the people who kind of decided about what different countries are called in Finnish, it was important that Finnish people would be able to pronounce them. And, you know, like I mentioned, those letters B, C, F, Q, X, Z and the Swedish O are not really part of Finnish language in a way. So yeah, they wanted those words to be basically written how Finnish people could say them. Um, because at the time, like in the 1800s, it was believed that at the time this could really impact the desire to learn if the countries were in their original form. These days they are trying to limit 
the finishization of these different names of countries and cities and so on. And there are like different, I guess, governing bodies like the UN that kind of puts the, the rules in place of like what different places are called. You know, because they just want to reduce the confusion between different places like Köln, Cologne, you know, that's quite different, or Gothenburg, Göteborg, you know. This topic could obviously go on for ages because, you know, it's language. So, <laughs> but this is just to give you an idea of like what different countries sound like in Finnish and what they're called in Finnish. So, yeah. Yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. So, yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.